Hello, I'm Eric. And I'm Andrea. Wait, what? What? Who are you? <laughs> and this is Hallmark Mysteries and more. Wait, I'm confused. You're not Sydney. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> so I'm Andrea Clausen, and I'm just popping in to guest while Sydney is off on her honeymoon. Excited to be here. I know. I cannot believe her priorities. <laughs> so, but Andrea, we have known each other for a long time. Um, you helped me when I did my Hallmark movie reviewer, when we did our, our little holiday, uh, review of all that we tend to, you do your reviews over there on Instagram and you tend to, uh, agree with me, or I tend to agree with you. We tend to align pretty well. So, um, that's not why I ask you to join today, but, um, <laughs> it will be interesting to see what we thought on the dancing detective, but. I have a feeling probably we're going to be pretty aligned just because of the general feedback of the movie, unless you are a mm. crazy outlier, which we will find out. I'm excited so. to find out. <laughs> All right. Well, why don't you tell some of the people who may not know who you are a little bit about you and why I asked you to join. Yeah. So my Instagram is Hallmark Channel Movies. And um, I review each of the movies and I just kind of put up a little like five star rating what I think out of five stars. I've been watching Hallmark movies since Candace Cameron Bray and Tom Arnold's Christmas movie, like years and years ago. And um, mysteries has been really what I have loved through the years. And so my favorites are Gourmet Detective, which is also one of your favorites. Of course. Where we don't agree, I really like the garage sale mysteries. That's where I think I really fell in love during those series, like August when they used to air them every Sunday. That was my favorite month of the mystery movie is just because you know you got it back to back and you could really see the growth of the characters and I was just kind of reflecting on why I like that series so much and I think it's because um, Lori Laughlin's character is already married so she's not kind of chasing after a love interest and she's just chasing after a mystery and I really enjoy that um, kind of aspect to the mysteries I've kind of discovered. Okay so where are you on Steve Basic? Is he a hottie? I think so. But he also plays the bad guy in Virgin River. So if anyone's watched that, he kind of, it's it's a darker character over there. Okay. Well, Sydney and I, like when she first told me that she thought he was all hubba hubba, I was like, wait, what? But as I've since found, I'm greatly, now I don't think the guy is like this terrible guy and he looks you know, awesome and he, he's got that like crazy hair and stuff going now, but I was just totally surprised when I found out that. And then when I, I, I kind of made fun of her for it, all of our listeners came to her defense. And then I showed my wife a picture and she was like, oh yeah, he's hot. So, <laughs> all right. Tall, dark, and, then, and handsome. And I'm not, like, I don't hate garage sale mysteries. I just think she is a little you know, white privileged character. And then so sometimes- I mean, Most of them she, I think are. Sometimes she, just, <laughs> sometimes she just annoys me a little bit stuff but it's by no means and i'll say which we're about to um or i guess we're not about to talk about but it's about to watch this week is aurora tea garden who i am not a fan of that mystery that's one of my least favorite mysteries see we but. disagree there too i i really enjoyed that one um but i think it's just because there's so she many can't of them act. She can see, i don't actor. i grew up on full house and so that's where i'm like well I, I give her a little there same with jody sweet i enjoy both of them Okay. Yeah. So I just, whatever. Move on. <laughs> Moving on. Okay. But yes, your reviews are great and they're awesome. Like while we're going to talk for a little while here, your reviews are awesome because you can just read it in just a quick, you know, couple minutes at, at the most and you get your take. And since I agree with you, uh, typically I'll say that, uh, you're pretty much spot on. So people can uh, go to your advice though. We did get into it a little bit this weekend when you uh, totally slammed death chronicle mysteries, which is I did, fantastic. I gave it four stars out of five. That is not dissing it. <laughs> which is four too little. It's a great, it's a great mystery. So yeah. that's probably one of my lower, I guess, of the series that the only one I really don't like is the picture perfect. Um, that's the only one I could say I'm not a big fan of. The rest of them, I totally will watch. I would watch again, but that one is not now, my favorite. A quick question. When was the last, 
Have you rewatched it? Uh, the Picture Perfects? Yeah. I mean, I've tried when they're like on, I'll put it on and I'm, I, I can't do it. Because when we did our review of it, I was kind of going along kicking and screaming and Dara really liked it. And so that's, she was guest on it. And so that's why we went with that. And Sydney uh, really likes it. So I was like, oh, well, I'm going to get beat up. And then I rewatched it and I actually had a whole different appreciation when I rewatched and went at it with a different lens and appreciated it for sort of the stylistic element of it. Mm -hmm. um, I do think that the mysteries, and for the most part, I never knew who they were. So I thought the mysteries mm -hmm. were pretty good in there. But I can see like, I did not like it at first. I thought they were trash and they were terrible. And it's partly because I think maybe they're not my favorite couple, their movies. But Same. Same. The oddly thing is, I think they do well with other people, but when they get yes. paired together, I think they have they don't have chemistry, which I find this weird. Yes. But, I loved her in the hockey one with um yes. Luke. That was great. But was like yeah, taking, together taking a shot at love. Yes. But together I agree. It's I don't it's know. It's weird. Yeah. I think maybe there's too comfortable. So maybe. Okay, Andrea. Well, one of the things we do is we create a cocktail for uh each episode. And for the dancing detective, Delhi Tango, we have the gin and tango. And Ooh. what this is, is two ounces of gin, a cup of blueberries, two ounces of lime juice, some Busby's botanical tonic water, and some thyme springs. And what you do is you blend the, 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 the blueberries and the thyme together with the lemon juice, and then you strain that through a cheesecloth, and then you put it into the glass with some ice cubes, pour in the gin, top it off with the tonic, and then garnish it with the blueberries and the sprig of thyme. And I found this to be sort of like a sophisticated yet fun cocktail, which I think coincides with what I think this movie was. So there you go. You can go ahead and have a gin and tango. All right. And here's the what uh, IMDb, which I assume is what Hallmark says about the dancing detective, a deadly tango. When a high-profile CEO is murdered on the eve of his company's corporate event in Malta, a high-stakes ballroom competition between senior executives, Detective Bailey is sent undercover as one of the contestants. Hmm. I think probably Hallmark probably had a better one than that, but I guess that kind of sums it up. doesn't mention Will at all. I don't know. He was a little bit critical to this movie, I think. I don't know. So. Both leads. <laughs> a little bit. So what we're going to do to get started with is, why don't you tell me a little bit what you liked about The Dancing Detective, if there was anything, or did you absolutely hate it? And so there's nothing you liked. Yeah, I liked, I thought there was great, like funny one-liners. Um, I thought Will delivered them wonderfully. And uh, his like physical and comedic timing, I thought was great. Um, I thought beautiful scenery, great fashion. I really liked the dancing scene in the water. And that was about it. Wow, that's not very much. Jeez. I know. So I said, I'm like, I'm never going to be asked back after my <laughs> review of this movie. No, this is going to be interesting. So, all right. I agree. I thought um, there was a lot of humor in it. Um, when I talked to Will, he sort of uh, gave me a hint. And we saw the preview with him doing his little, you know, accents in the car driving away. I was, ex I was expecting it. But <clears throat> I thought, yeah, a lot of those little one-liners with, you know, Lacey calling him by the different detectives was kind of fun, which yes, I watched I, when I watched it a couple of times and I could not find a time when she actually called him by his name. Mm -hmm. She did get to the very end after, I think this was sort of a thing of maybe she was accepting him where she called him Mr. Cranky Pants and mm -hmm. partner, but she still never called him Sebastian. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if that was a sort of supposed to be something we picked up on that all of a sudden he became, uh, you know, no longer the different uh, different detectives, no longer Miss Marple or or Perot or or any of those. But Rockford was my favorite. But I liked that one. Uh, maybe because I'm a little bit older. Murder, so she I wrote. That. Oh, love yes. Jessica Fletcher reference. <laughs> All right. Um, I really liked when Sebastian put his arm around her when they were like first showing up and he was just like, oh yeah, you're my wife. And she was just like, what are you doing? And they're walking around. Oh, my dog's going crazy. We'll forget them. But um, I thought that was just funny about how he just kept doing it. And it was just like that awkwardness and stuff. 
Um, another scene I really loved was um, in the beginning when he was dancing with the seniors. And I didn't really pay attention the first time I watched it, but the second time I realized those people could not dance. So I'm sure they just went ahead and like said, hey, locals, come on in and be in a movie if you're, you know, 70 years and older. Because when he was doing like the little moves and they're supposed to be following, like nobody was even close to being, you know, choreographed or anything with them. So I thought that was, uh, that was hilarious. Um, I agree with you. The pool scene, loved it. It was uh, very cute. I uh, reached out to him afterwards and I asked him how many takes it took because obviously he had to get wet and I was thinking of how long, you know, it would uh, take to get his hair dried and all set up again. He said they did it in one take. So wow. good to them because it seemed like a kind of a complex scene yeah. and to nail that in the one time. But like you said, he really did have that, uh, his comedic timing and, uh, you know, down, but then, you know, maybe being the dancer, it wasn't for him as complicated doing that scene as it may have been for a lot of us. Um, so another thing I really liked was the chase. You don't really get chases a lot in Hallmark movies. Now, granted, it was on a moped and they were going, you know, 15, 20 miles an hour. It's funny. I'm pretty sure that's in my, what I didn't like. <laughs> <laughs> and, and what was great about it, and like I said, it's definitely in the Hallmark spirit because like when they were talking, it just seemed so, like I could just totally see them in the studio talking to do the, deliver their lines, but it was campy. I found it fun, but, and you're right. Who could not like Malta? Malta was just beautiful and they did take every chance they could to show it off. Mm -hmm. But one of the things you didn't mention that you liked was the chemistry. So do you, were you not thinking they, they had some- No, I thought they had great there? chemistry. I have, um, I mean, this will kind of lead into what I didn't like though. So I can hold that, but I did. I thought they had great chemistry. Okay. Well, there was some, a little romance I think you missed maybe in the chemistry department between- uh, Lacey or Bailey in that pillow <laughs> that was a little steamy the way she was that was another one pillow. I didn't like <laughs> oh my gosh I, was, I wasn't a fan of that scene I was like I don't I don't know the whole the whole dream scene or just the like whole the whole dream the scene. making out with the pillow the making out that was kind of cute and funny but the dream scene I was like because uh, no. I liked when she yes I like when she woke, woke up and he was like standing there I found that really funny so okay all right so I had a much longer list of what we like. Yours was a pretty much a bullet point. Boom, boom, boom. And I have a feeling we may be a little flip flopped when we go to the what we uh, maybe thought the movie lacked or could have done better. So why don't you then transfer, you know, as you said, transition into that chemistry into something maybe that you weren't loving so much, which turns out to be uh, Lacey and her dreamy pillow. Well, okay, so this is kind of my what I like about the mystery series in general is I like having kind of a set town with the supporting cast being there, you know, just as in like the Hannon Swinson, you know, we know some of the side characters like they used to have the mayor in it. He hasn't been at the new ones. But you know, you have the store, you know, people who work at the store, you get to know the town locals. So my fear, I guess, with this series or could be series is we kind of pop from, you know, location to location we might not have a really strong supporting cast that's, you know, in every movie. And that's some of the magic. I mean, for me, again, as I said, with the murder she wrote, I loved the Cabot Cove episodes the best because you got to know your sheriff, you know, you got to know Seth, the doctor, all of those pieces, I think for me really build on the mysteries. So, I mean, it wasn't necessarily just this one-off movie. It was, you know, it's fine. But for me as a series going on, it's something that I think I would miss not having that kind of supporting um, consistent supporting cast. I thought maybe the person that they brought in on, you know, the phone, the gal who worked for the, was she FBI? The one who would sit oh, the, at the restaurant and- The Interpol? Yes. Like she might be the consistent thread, but other than her, I was like, who else would be that consistent thread in the movies? Not sure. Um, yeah. And that's, well, and he only was a little bit in the beginning, right. you know, before maybe they ship her off. And so that was kind of something that- mm, potentially could be not so, so you're me. so you're stressing about 
future, future. which <laughs> may or may not happen. Yes. Well, okay, even I've, so then I've as had a, a lot of therapy, movie. so I can talk to you about futurism <laughs> and, and how it's like, you know, not a healthy thing to do. You should focus on the present. Well, so with that, um, I'm not a big like dancing movie person, like dancing with the stars. Like, I just don't, that's not my thing. Like watching people dance. Um, eh, I, it's not, I'm not entertained by that. And so I think that was a huge, especially cause there's a lot of dancing. That's why I said, I didn't really look at dream scene because we threw in more dance. And so it was just a lot of, there was a lot of dancing in this movie. And so if you like dancing, I think this would be totally up your alley. If you're like myself, not super into watching it, you know, not a big fan of ballroom dancing. Um, it might not be your cup of tea. It might be a little excess, you know, I think a couple scenes, great. Like the, the water scene, loved that one, but maybe, I mean, again, we just had a lot of dancing. Um, so right. so yeah, along, the, along those lines, I'll say that's kind of where I had, I liked it and mm -hmm. I thought the dancing was great. I'm not by any means, I don't watch dancing with the stars or any of that stuff. So I'm not, you know, I wasn't drawn to the movie necessarily because of the dancing, but I did enjoy it. And I thought it did a great job of showing some of their chemistry and their connection. And I thought it did fit with the story. But to your point, that was actually in my notes. One of the things I thought was, while I liked the, um, the dream sequence, I also found it maybe a little, I don't know, gratuitous isn't the right way to put it, but maybe it was. I enjoyed it, but at the same time, the movie probably could have not had that in there and progressed some of the plot and some of the mystery and some of the characters and use that time. But I think the flip side of it is a lot of people are coming to this because they do want to see Will and, and Lacey dance. So you put it in. So it's kind of that catch point too. I enjoyed it, but I think it also movie could maybe have been stronger without it. So it's a weird. Um, yeah. Without maybe like half of it, take out half of it. And again, yeah. this is me thinking about future. I'm like, does this mean every movie? Are we going to have this much dancing in every movie? Since it's called The Dancing Detective, I'm assuming that would be kind of the theme throughout, which uh, if you're not a big fan of watching a ton of dancing, also kind of that thorn where you're like, so I have two strikes on it based on those two, like no supporting cast and that dance. And I thought there was like a lot of dialogue with potential suspects and just not a lot of action. Like I enjoy the little fake you know, those boards that they make and try to figure out, you know, uh, who the people are. So like some of that, you know, it was just a lot of dialogue instead of some of the kind of those fun antics. To me, they're fun. Not everyone enjoys them, but I enjoy those little fun antics that they kind of throw in there. Um, so that kind of was missing that piece with a lot of that dialogue. Um, and that's kind of the other, I guess, third strike <laughs> for me. Oh, man. So <laughs> I know, that's what I said. <laughs> so with me, the, I found the, when you're talking about all the supporting actors, um, I didn't know who any of them were. I'm guessing Same. a lot of them were probably local or at least European or, you know, people who, who, who they, um, signed on over there. They, but I thought the, um, supporting actors, uh, talents and ability, this will sound really harsh and I don't mean to, cause everyone does their best and it was enjoyable and it was fun, but I do think it was definitely uneven. Like there, I think Will and Lacey were absolutely phenomenal in their roles and their delivery and their acting was like everything you want in a Hallmark movie. Like they delivered a hundred percent. And, but then the other characters, some of them, I just don't think they had necessarily that strength to keep up. And yes. I felt bad because there was, um, what was her name? Kim Murphy, the, the spy, the maid who mm, was the mm -hmm. spy. Like, I don't know if maybe English was her second language or something, but she just very much was kind of robotic in her delivery. delivery. But I liked That's her, a, but it, yeah. just, it just wasn't the same level. Well, and I think those two, that's where I kind of, I guess, I really enjoyed those two together. I thought they had great chemistry and I, I would love to see them together in a different <laughs> premise for a mystery. I mean, that's kind of what I wrote in my but, review that- How about you know, if they're my... like chocolate making detectives? Would that yeah, be better? I mean, I don't know if they're going to stay in like a small town. I get to know the townspeople. Sure. And then occasionally you go away, but I mean, kind of like the same as even thinking about like sex in the city when they had the movie and it was, you know, often, I think it was Dubai. It was, it kind of landed flat because New York was such a part of the setting of sex in the city. And that's kind of the same for some of these Hallmark movies. Like you have some of those things where that is your setting. When you go away from it, sometimes the movie 
falters. And so that's, you know, if, if it's always going to be based in Malta, awesome, you know, beautiful scenery, but if not, um, if we're going to keep bumping around, I feel like you lose that kind of character in that setting. I would say though, I think that the destination is kind of that character. So when you're saying, oh, I, I you know, you want a, a good supporting character that's going to continue, like wherever they go, and I guess it does change, but it it is a, um, it, it's whether, so they go to Paris. You can just enjoy Paris. And it's, you're right, it's not a person per se, but I do think that there would be a consistency. I do agree that I, um, when you're, when you do fruturize it a little bit, I was in my mind going, how are they going to be able to make this interesting and unique and not be redundant with the, like how many murders are taking place around dancing? But I don't know. Yeah. I don't care. I'm in, I'm in my Hallmark bubble where reality <laughs> does not affect. <laughs> I, I drink, I drink gallons of that Kool-Aid. So <laughs> off I go. See, I can sometimes, and sometimes I'm like, oh, if it's, I mean, maybe if it was something I enjoyed more, but the dancing. I, so I was thinking like, oh, well, Chronicle um, goes around and visits different things, but then you're right. It actually does have still the paper staff. Piece. Yep. So, yeah. yeah. Ah, so all right, you, you win on that one, but. It, no it, winning or losing. It's just our opinion. I mean, again, I think I'm in the minority because when I looked a lot of, I mean, a lot of people love this movie. You, you are literally the first person I've seen with a negative much less three strikes because what happens when you have three strikes you're out so well and see oh. this is where i like jody sweeten's um movie better the jane mysteries i like that better than this one that um, was another one that was very high on the uh fashion great great fashion see i liked it overall i was i thought that was i'm excited for more if they do more okay so we got uh will kemp in a wet shirt but you wanted Stephen Hussar in no shirt. <laughs> so I didn't even notice. I'm like, oh, I mean, I, I really enjoyed the, uh, well, I like Stephen Hussar. So I just, you know, as you would know, I was watching the Ruby Herring ones. I actually prefer him in those movies as a detective. I thought he should go back and watch some of those because I thought he really nailed that role. Um, I agree, 100%. He lost a little bit of it, I think, in the Jane mysteries. It didn't quite land, but he was barely in the movie he was not he didn't have a big role on that one so i'll give a pass there i i actually it's it's funny said because i think that's you're right it wasn't necessarily him i think it was more the director editor was yeah his role was was, very small but um and i am with you i I, ruby uh herring is not from what i've seen out there one of the most enjoyed mysteries but I I, i i did like i thought in to your point, I agree with you. He, I think, was fantastic in that mm-hmm. series. He was a great detective. That's why I had high hopes for him in Jane uh, Mysteries, which um, I'm not sure how he got. Oh, because we we're talking Jody Sweeten from uh, <laughs> just a little. Pairing the roles. Yes. All right. Well, All what right. didn't you like? Well, like I said, I thought there was the uneven um, acting mm-hmm. that was in there. And this will sound really bad and super, super superficial, but Kevin and Mary as a couple, like he was three inches shorter than her. So when they had that first scene, when they're on the balcony and they go to have that kiss, he's like having to like get up on his tippy toes to kiss her. And like I say, superficial, but I'm like, couldn't they have at least put him on like a little, you know, board or something to make him be a little bit taller and I just thought that was just a weird cast couple totally superficial See, I, don't, I don't mind it I'm 5'10 I'm tall my husband's a little bit taller than me but I don't mind because sometimes I mean hey it's hard if you're a tall girl it's hard I don't know if she was tall I think he was like 5'4 I don't know and I agree with you like a lot of when you're when you're talking about um there not being a lot of the action where they're like just sitting there. They seem like they kind of had the same scene over and over a lot where it's like, Hey, they're asking a lot of questions. They're asking a lot of questions why they're riding the bike or they're like sitting at a table or they're, you know, things like that. So I would like to see to, to your point, a little more of the action. Whereas like, that's why I did like 
the scooter, um, the little mm. moped chase, which now why, why did you not like the moped? You said you didn't like it. Well, I, I mean, it's fine. Like, I just feel like it was kind of thrown in there just because there wasn't a ton of action or a lot going on. So it felt just kind of like, let's throw in this quick scene. And I mean, I thought the Lizzie McGuire, if you ever watched that movie, I thought those moped scenes were more intense than the action scene we got from this movie. <laughs> I have not seen Lizzie McGuire, so <laughs> I guess it's the movie, a... not the show, the movie. I have not seen the show. Put it on your movie. list to watch. <laughs> is this is this on Netflix? Is this um? I don't know about that. Since I don't have a mis- I do have a mystery this weekend, but then I don't have a mystery for a little while until uh, the new Curious. Uh, if you're a Hillary Duff out. fan, check it out. Her early work. <laughs> I'm sure it's on Disney. I'm sure it's on Disney. Okay, I don't know if I'm a Hillary Duff fan or not. I- is she no. ever in, is she in anything else her sister was in um a hats off was it hats off to christmas Haley duff was in a hallmark movie probably in 2013 ish era uh, I, I recommend checking that out i think i reviewed that as a throwback review and i enjoy that movie it's kind of cute my uh my my only real throwback christmas one is of course the brooke burns uh that's like the best yes. um oh what's that one called last most wonderful time of the year i think yes I, that one's a good one it is so i did not know there was another throwback uh one the rest of my thoughts started after i started watching oh no so, there's a quite a few I different know, <laughs> i know i'm just making the world revolve around me which i like to do so <laughs> all right what else i didn't like let's see um oh the other was and sometimes it bothers me sometimes it doesn't and i can't figure out in this case which it does but I thought the mystery was pretty easy to solve because first of all, when you saw like the, 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 the bad person in the, um, you know, in the hotel room, poisoning it, then walking out in their little black, you know, stealthy outfit, like I could very much tell that was a woman. So yep, I wrote I knew, that too. So I knew it was a woman. And then when they go through and like all the characters, I actually got my wife to watch this one. And it was just mm-hmm. because there's absolutely nothing else for her to watch. So she's like, okay, I'll watch it. And she's like, well, of course it's the Mary, the, the wife. She, uh, she, she, she did. I'm like, no, there's no way she did it because none of those characters, it's too obvious that they mm-hmm. did it. Who you have to go for the one person who it's not obvious. And that's Barbara. And of course it turned out to be the one person who they didn't, you know, investigate. So I very easily figured out that it was Barbara just because I did not the, like the red hair. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, I, I thought the not. red herrings were so for me. I, like, I so knew obvious. it was a woman, like it, but like yes. it couldn't be that person. I know. And, I was like going back and forth. And then when they ruled them both out, I was like, well, I don't got anyone left. I mean, I was yes. probably, I, I barely remembered her when they introduced her. I was like, who is she again? Cause she really was in there. Like they quickly threw her in that wasn't she didn't have that's a huge usually, role that's who usually are the killers think like all I the mean, mystery 101 mystery 101 it's always like that one person who you sort of get introduced to like briefly 15 minutes early that has one little scene and then and goes away the <laughs> and then has like just a little blip blip throughout the rest of the uh the, the one but um and then also like for someone who just was murdered or died let's say they didn't even because most people didn't know he was murdered but it just seemed like no one even slightly had a moment of their day being like interrupted like oh mark died you know so what are you having for dinner (laughs) you know or going around the table oh i'm divorced oh i'm single you know oh my husband's been you know died seven hours ago you know, it just seemed uh, a little bit uh, cold in that aspect. Like no one even. I mean, I just assumed he was not not a nice guy because nobody seemed to care. So then, as a viewer, you're kind of like, well, I don't care if you know the rest yeah, of the cast okay. seems to not care. I mean, not the cast themselves, but the what they mm-hmm. wanted us to care about. But even if like, then there should have been a like more emotion of it. Like I don't like. Thank God he has gone. Like. Well, I think just, the the wife sort of they a, kind of lean that way with her. I, I thought that she was just ambivalent, like, oh, well, yeah. yeah, he's dead. But um, what's when do I have my manicure now? So, but yeah. but all in all, 
like I say, I uh, I very much liked it. And I think like even the things that I put on my list for saying, you know, were reasons I, I, I didn't like are so minute for me that it didn't, they didn't bother me. I'll say the one that just bothered me the most was that Kevin had to uh, stand on the tippy toes and kiss Mary, which is so superficial. I mean, I should get hate mail. I should, uh, you know, and the funny Probably thing, my dad, will. my dad, my dad was five, four. So he was a short guy. All right. I shouldn't be uh, so harsh on him. My brother's five, six. Um, but uh, yeah, oh. he could have shot it a different way. I mean, whatever. I'm terrible. I'm terrible. All right. So we kind of talked a little bit about it, but we just do a little brief thing. So just in general, what did you think as far as, you know, putting this in the the Hallmark universe, the quality of this is a mystery. Do you think it was like a good mystery or? Eh? I would say, eh, but mostly I think it's just the, I didn't find it as intriguing as some of the other ones. Uh, and probably for what you were just saying about the people not seeming to care about his death. And it just, I wasn't as invested. I like to know maybe a little bit more about like the person who died. So I can be a little more invested, I guess, or a little bit more backstory. Like even the Hannah Swenson one, you kind of, you didn't really know a ton about him, but it felt okay. Cause you had some surrounding, like this is in, you know, 1995, these characters might've had this issue and, you know, you can kind of piece things together. Whereas this one, you were kind of left with, okay, he wasn't well-liked. His wife didn't really like him. Why are they still together? If that seemed to be the case, you know, just little questions yeah. of piecing that together. I mean, I'm sure they did it just because a red herring, you know, do we think she did it? And, but you actually brought up an interesting point because like even in, um, in Hannah, it wasn't like the guy who was tossed in the uh, elevator shaft. What He wasn't very well-liked either. Um, so. But they still, like you said, created a little more of a character. So you at least had like a little more of the why I want to kill you and a little yes. more like, okay, you know, he was whatever. Like you just had a little more emotion towards him. Yeah. And even even like the Barbara at the end when she, um, you know, did it just was, yeah, I agree. It wasn't like the most overwhelming, like I had that anger. He killed my father. Um is there oh yeah. what we didn't talk about you're talking about chases mm. how about Lacey chasing down barbara <laughs> in gowns and heels i wrote that in my review for my instagram review and i was like okay that is totally not realistic to run in heels on cobblestone like that i mean if they anyone has ever tried to do that i know and i'm like how i i thought and i'll have to go back and well you'll have to watch in slow-mo but I thought at one point when they did like a quick scene, I thought that Lacey was wearing tennis shoes, but you'll have to kind of look because it kind of quick was like tennis shoes and then it went back to heels. So I'm not sure if it was, we'll have to, that would be a good one to ask Will to see, did they do that in heels or well, did he they was put back, tennis shoes He on? was back there 50 yards behind. Well, he probably a, a knows if they were running in their heels he to actually going film on it. it. <laughs> they were the athletes. They were up there gazelles <laughs> running. They were totally in their heels running on the uh, the cobblestone. I mean, um, I've tried to run in heels before. And cobblestone, I mean, your heel would get stuck in the, I mean, you'd have to right. hit it perfectly every time. I, I, when were you running on cobblestone in a ball gown? Well, not a ball gown. I'm not a, no, not a ball gown, but heels. Yes. I've tried to run in heels. I'm sure just probably after when I was in college, after one too many drinks and you just run down the sidewalk as one does. Oh, okay. <laughs> I have never done that. Yeah, but, I wouldn't expect you to. <laughs> okay. I don't think I would make it. Uh, I don't think I would do as well as Lacey or Barbara. So yeah. wow. that was, uh, that was pretty good. And like I say, that was almost better than the, uh, than the, the Vespa chase, but that was, I mean, cool. Hey, if they really did that, like kudos to them. Cause I'm that's, that's hard. So I'm sure that there was a little, maybe a little bit of uh stunt double, you know, stunt double, which yeah. do, was there dancing doubles for Lacey? Cause sometimes it got like a little bit dark and a little bit pulled away. And I was trying to figure out if it was Lacey doing like the dance in the, excuse me, in the, in the dream sequence, if that was all Lacey or not, I don't know. Was she ever on Dancing with the Stars? I don't know. 
I was going to look that up because I didn't know if she, I feel like maybe she was, or maybe she's just been enough dancing Hallmark movies where I feel like she can dance a the little only, bit. So. What, what, the only other one she was in was the Christmas Waltz. What else was she dancing? Oh, she did dance with uh, with Brennan Elliott in a, in a crossword. They danced at a wedding. But um, I don't think she's in a bunch of dancing movies. Maybe a scene here or there. Maybe it was. How would you know? You don't watch. Like, you don't watch any dancing I know, movies. I discovered. I well, I watch them. I'm not a fan of them. <laughs> <I watch> them. <laughs> so it's this like self torture thing. Right. So, I mean, okay. usually they don't have too much dancing. It's just a little sprinkled in. Okay. All right. Well, the other thing was the body count had one, so the initial guy gets poisoned and and dies. So not much of a body count there. All right. Last thing we discuss is the style, just in the overall, the fashion and the, can be the uh, decor, can be, you know, hair, can be everything like that. So now this has to be something we agree on. You have I mean, I thought it was fabulous. Like the men's, I thought the men's style, that's probably the best I've seen men dressed in a Hallmark movie, like their suits, their blazers, their, you know, button downs. I thought they were immaculate and the same with the women they're you know obviously they have their ball gowns a lot of blazers i noticed for the women i mean just a ton of just nice tight fitting blazers um you know so i that must be the style probably currently in malta to to have most of the characters in blazers i think you should go visit to find out (laughs) all right i gotta get my passport updated (laughs) oh i heard there's like a big delay in passport so you better take care of that oh geez okay Um, noting (laughs) so i have a question and this is my ignorance those like big like how they all had like the i don't know the string thing on their arms is that like a that's like a ball gown type yeah i, I, I don't think, know I, I've so never been i in such a thing i think they put on like their the middle finger to like not have it hey, fall now. during their well it's, i think because it just stays on the bus there if you're wearing rings and the ring fingers but I think you're you're doing it so you don't step on the trail of the dress if you're doing some of these competitions. Oh, so that's like hooked to the the the. Uh, it's like hooked dress. to your so, yeah to so your you finger, it, and so, so you can pull it yeah. up. Oh, I so think. Like, don't quote me on that, but that's what I think um, well, I've seen. I hate to break it to you, but you're uh, like this is being me. yeah this is quoting. actually going out in, <laughs> out in the out in the world. So that's my educated guess. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, but that would oh, be no, that to guess. <laughs> makes sense to me. I, I couldn't figure out what the point of it, but it turns out there's a function to it. So um, I don't go, yeah, I don't go to many, any real balls. So I guess maybe I need to start. But then there's also, we talked about the pool scene, that floral dress yeah. that Lacey wore. Gorgeous. Yeah. And then Lacey also had um, the leather, the brown leather skirt. Lacey can definitely pull pull off the leather. She wore a lot of leather in uh, Crossword Mysteries, especially the earlier, earlier ones. So I like that. Yeah, and there was like snakeskin pants on one of the gals had those. I saw it was like a brief shot. And I mean, they took some, I mean, it fits the, it fits an international movie. Right. And then, yeah, Will just just dashing in it. That's the way I guess to describe him. He just really had that just dashing european whatever cosmopolitan look to him so he had it good and then like i say the other guy kevin i was just against him because i had a little short whatever thing going and i was oh, being, i was being a terrible <laughs> i was being a terrible person so i was uh looking down <laughs> i was looking down on him but that's <laughs> that's oh, not gosh. a nice thing to say that no. i didn't mean it that way but yeah all right but yeah so yeah i thought the the, the style and then decor like you know that hotel and everything obviously was just gorgeous malta was gorgeous but yes everything is very rocky well stony yeah there and not a lot of pavement or anything like that around and, and so, hilly so. and i mean it was beautiful with the water there yes. like being out on the on that balcony like there was one where i think in the morning when will walked out there and i was like what a beautiful way to like start your day. Have a cup of coffee out on oh. the balcony. <laughs> All right, now, speaking, yes, of fashion too. How good does Lacey look waking up in the morning just oh, after a night of sleep? Flawless. Absolutely flawless. Perfect. Like the hair, which is supposed to be slept in hair. And then her makeup just 
perfect. It was uh, one of those things that was just very, very funny where she could just wake up and just go on with her day, which um, most, I mean, not realistic. <laughs> You, you don't that make... is often a complaint and like so like in cindy busby in the in the zion the national park one when she would wake up from camping don't and be and like cindy. perfect and you're like that's not possible I, nobody goes camping and wakes up with their hair perfect <laughs> cindy is like the happiest person on the planet so there's no bagging on cindy <laughs> well it's not cindy it's the way they wrote the movie it's not her it's character i'm still taking it as a personal attack against her <laughs> I, uh, I think I know you love Cindy as well. Yeah, she's just an adorable, fun, great person. Brooke and Cindy, you love both of them. Well, that's a different thing. There's a crush on uh, oh. <laughs> Brooke. Brooke is crushed. Like I've had to have conversations <laughs> with my daughter saying, you know, if all goes right, you're going to have a new mommy. Oh, you know, of course, my daughter's right. 20, my daughter's 25. So it's a little different conversation. But my Gosh. wife understands because she's got Joe Elliott from, uh, from Def Leppard, which she's also informed me that if uh, he ever becomes available, I uh, should pretty much help her pack. So. Oh gosh. But all right, all right, all right. Let's get into ranking now the movie on our categories. The steam meter, which is essentially like the chemistry, which being a first. What's interesting is usually in a mystery you don't get like a kiss until episode three ish later whereas even though it's a dream sequence and i'm not talking about her making out with the pillow but <laughs> um they did get the, sort of that kiss in the dream sequence but all in all what were what would you put as the steam meter uh ranking one to ten i mean i think ten like i think there was definitely fire like that dance again the water dancing fire i i gave it a nine and that was because of the other people in the movie brought the steam down for me. But I agree. Lacey and uh, and Will, everything was great about them. And then, once again, Lacey and the pillow. Better That was a better kiss than, uh, than Kevin and Mary's. So, okay. All right. The story. Now, this takes away the mystery, just the overall story that took place. What do you think of that? I gave it a six interesting i gave that a nine i thought the story was just fun I, it had a lot of like cases of mystery lane to it where it was just a lot of wit and just a fun story so i I liked it obviously a little bit more than you did now here's the mystery ranking where do you put the mystery i gave that one a six as well i gave that a six as well too i didn't think like the mystery you know for me the mystery doesn't always have to be this like great who done it where you don't know until the very end because once again like i said i talk about all the time mystery one-on-ones i kind of figured out that pattern but it doesn't distract for me at all i still love them i think it's they're so well written i think they're so well acted i think they're great stories and it just doesn't bother me and you know usually i'm right doesn't matter though like i say it doesn't distract but okay now where would you put the acting in this movie I say nine, mostly because it was Lacey and Will, and I thought they did a great job, to your point. And again, I, I agree with you with the supporting cast, maybe it wasn't the strongest, but I mean, I, I think they carried the movie pretty well. All right, I gave it an eight. And once again, if it was Lacey and Will, I'd give that a, an 11. I thought they just, they were so good together. Um, it makes me wonder, because obviously there's this, Lacey and Brennan connection mm -hmm. with you know between rom-com and mystery like they've been in mm -hmm. both together and both multiple and everyone loves the two of them together but I'm wondering if Lacey and Will is starting to maybe infringe and like people are starting to say maybe I'd rather see Lacey with Will than Brennan which Brennan is such a great guy we talked to him and great guy but I'm wondering, like, where, 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 where would you put those two? Who, if they, if you had one movie, cast, you're the casting director, and you give Lacey, and you got to pick her opposite. You going with Brennan, or you going with Will? I don't care what kind of movie. It can be, it can be either rom com or miss. Doesn't, doesn't matter. But you're the, you're oh thing, you're, you're going to get fired if you, if you choose wrong. Ah. Uh, Never to work in the town. I'm again. like, I, I enjoy both of them. I, oh gosh, I would probably say. 
I mean, Brennan only just because they have, they have done so many movies together. So their chemistry is just there. I mean, they just can kind of just go back and forth really easily, but that's not like at all a hit on Will. Cause I think he, again, was fabulous in this movie with her. Okay. I hope your movie is successful would, and you don't get fired. What, who would you pick? Good God, I'm not answering that question. Oh, gee, give me a <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to oh, say both. They, gosh. They're, but they're different. It's like, I don't know. I know. That's um, what I said. That's a hard pick. Like, yes, they're, no, I can't pick that. That's, that, I can't believe you did. That's, that's terrible of you. You're a terrible person. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I, did I say my acting? I had my acting as an eight. Yes. Oh, I, I said because 11 for those guys. But then, like I said, the other ones just, like I said, it was, they're, it just wasn't the same level, right? And I don't think they expect to be, you know, if they were, they'd be getting international roles. And they certainly, I'll say, act a hundred times better than I would act. Um, like I'm just trying to get my little uh, roles and extra where I can be the dead guy laying on the ground. And I'm still not sure I'd be able to pull that off very well, but you know, so then, you know, delivering lines and, and all that way better than me. Cause I, I can't help but giggle whenever I, I try to like for my wife, I'll try to act. And I'll say, okay, I'm going to do this ready. And it, like, I, I always just giggle and I, or smile. I can't ever, ever really pull it off. So like I said, they were way better than me, but still not, you know, top of the line so okay probably an agreement here but what do you have for the style for the movie 10 10 as well all right so when you add it all up what do you come with up with uh 82 82 you had, you can only have a possible 50 no well i added uh, both Five. of ours up together oh. sorry i already added ours up together as we were going <laughs> oh, wow you're like i good saved at- us the time <laughs> okay Okay, usually Sydney and I like slaughter the math and we just make up a number that I mean, uh, I've we think's to your close. Podcast, so. so I was like, well, I'll just add it up as we're going. Yeah. And like sometimes I don't even know if we're right or wrong when I add them up <laughs> together because I'm trying to do them in my head. But you're actually smarter than me by adding them up as we go along. So <sighs> oh, I should remember that next time. That's probably a lot easier to uh, to do than trying to add up the whole big one. So, Okay. All right. So 82, that's actually pretty solid. So 82, so you had a 40, so you, you weren't that far off. So for a movie that I you mean, clearly the chemistry hated, and style, 40. but chemistry and style were, that was the 10 out of 10, the rest of it. And I mean, again, acting the actual premise though, is where it goes down for so me. You, I like so, some of those pieces, but. So they should have turned it actually into a rom-com from a, than a mystery. Yes. Film. Yes. Yes. Okay. I would have probably liked it more than two. Because I wouldn't have been thinking, okay, I'm going to get another one of these and then thinking about more dancing and yes. where's yes. our town. I'm going to email you my therapist number so you can do a little <laughs> virtual thing. We'll work in the same in the present. Have you meditated yet today? Maybe yeah. that'll help. Meditate then I did. watch it. Did I meditate? I did not meditate this morning. I mean, I have a See? three and a half month old, so I have not been getting up at 6 a.m. and doing my meditation. So that's half the battle. <laughs> okay. Well, I think if you had meditated, you would have liked the movie a little more. So. Actually, I think I meditated the morning I watched this, so that's not the case. <laughs> All right. Now you said, like you said, you watched it with, with your mom, right? No, not this one. Um, I would be curious to see if my mom, like, my, I watched the Hannah Swenson one with my mom, and she had never watched any of the Murder She Baked, so I was curious to see if she liked it, and she really liked it, and it drew her attention. I gave her a little bit of the backstory about who some of the characters were oh, so until she the seen, end. She had. She did not like that ending either. Um, and she is a Cameron Mathis fan from all my children. And then Alice oh, Sweeney, well, she knows from soaps. And so she was kind of like, well, of course what? she's not. If she's, if <laughs> she has to see Cameron Matheson be a jerk. Yes. Movie. So, so she, and she a, also found it very perplexing that, that whole, like, why did she get mad at him for that? Like, why am I the only feminist on the planet? Right. A guy I thought she was like- discovering, no, it seemed like she was discovering in my mind that the, the police chief was the one who was the murderer. That's what I thought was going to be the twist. And I was like, oh, she, the thing in, the ringing in her ear, she's discovering she was right all along. And that didn't happen. No. <laughs> my ending would have been better. Oh. But we, we talked about it before we, you, uh, you did your thing like a little bit where we're like trying to do our math. And yes. I keep trying to, I keep trying to say that guy is 40 is no years way. old, No, but no, no way. He would have been like 10 
committing this murder. So well, I'm that's what I'm trying to. Age, I'm trying to age him and to say he looks. He was older than we thought he was in the uh, his character, but I don't, I don't so. know. So okay. All right, Andrea. Well, it was a blast having you. Yes, thank um, you. I love coming on and talking about homework movies. Yes, we are. Uh, I forget which one we talked about. We're going to be back when we do one of the series. Was it the Gourmet Detective? I think. I mean, I'll do that one, but the Fixer Upper, I also. Oh, just that's what it was, watched, right, right? And I liked that one too. Yes, so. Fixer Upper. Um, so you get Sydney. Though you better like that one because if you bag on Jewel, Sydney will <laughs> fly over there and take you out. You can't say anything bad about Jewel. Okay. I liked it. Remember, I gave it five out of five. I really okay. liked. <laughs> okay. Um. But for everyone, again, please, uh, if you like what you hear in, the, in this uh, podcast, we'd love if you would tell your friends, share with them so we can get some more listeners. That's uh, always fun. Not sure really what we do with it, but it's just awesome to uh, to have. Um, you can follow us over on Instagram at Hallmark Mysteries and More. Or go to our website, hallmarkmysteriesandmore.com. Uh, and I will um, say you guys have an amazing Instagram. Oh, well, thank you. We have. Uh, I really I'll tell you what, seeing though, what man. you guys post. I'm getting very, very stressed with my did you knows. They're getting harder and harder to come up with these uh, these new facts. And uh, so they may start getting a little bit obvious. Like, did you know that uh, Allison Sweeney was on a soap opera? Um, she was also the host of The Biggest Loser. I knew that. That's where that's like Shoot. where I, I first. I don't know. That's where I first knew her from. Oh, really? Um, Not the soap? No. Wow. I don't. I don't even know what she's. I oh. didn't watch her in that one, but I knew because in The Biggest Loser, they had referenced that. So, yeah. Uh, I will say my freshman year of college, um, I did watch uh, for like a semester um, General Hospital back with Frisco and Felicia. Yeah, Frisco and Felicia with Jack Wagner oh. when he was, uh, he had this nice little mullet going. Um, See, I didn't know Jack and, Wagner was in a soap. Yeah, yeah, he was. He was Frisco. He was big time. And uh, you had uh, Anna Devane was the police detective. Um, that's about all I can remember. But yeah, we every day come home for lunch and uh, and watch General Hospital for a semester. Got really into it. Then I stopped watching it and never went back. And so, yeah, what 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 one is 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 Hannah or Hannah is uh, Allison Sweeney and. I think it's, I think it's days of our lives. I didn't watch it. My mom watched all my children and young and the restless. So the only thing I do know is I've heard she's like evil in that one. Yes. In, I in think the soap so. Opera. She's like a yeah. bad, she's a bad guy. So, um, so is that, but, well, thank you for the compliment on the, uh, on, uh, Instagram. It's fun. Yeah. We try, um, keep it, keep it going. Well, Andrea or Andrea, as some of our friends will call you. <laughs> It was a pleasure having you, and until next time, have a good night.